What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this next video, what we gotta do is take these equations here and solve for x. So notice that we have a bunch of exponential expressions. And what you wanna do, usually with these kinds of equations, is if possible, you wanna try to get in the format where you have the same base on each side and just one expression on each side. So you want it in the format where you have a base b, for example, to the power of a function equals the base, the same base, to the power of another function. Because if you can get it in this format over here, well, if you have b to the power of something equals b to the power of something, that means that those two exponents have to equal. So you could get rid of the bases then and just get rid of the exponential expression in general. And then you'll have two functions like this, and then it's much easier to solve for x. But you gotta do a little work usually to get to here. So starting with number one, notice that we have 27 to the power of 5x minus three equals 81 to the power of x plus two. But notice that the 27 and the 81 we can rewrite both of those to be in terms of a base three. So the 27, we can rewrite as three to the power of three. And then the 81, we can rewrite as three to the power of four. And then we have an x plus two over here. And so from here, what we can do is notice that these two exponents we can multiply. So we would end up with three to the power of three bracket, five x minus three. And then over here, we'd end up with three to the power of four bracket x plus two. So you wouldn't just multiply the four with the x or the three with the five x, you have to multiply the three with that whole expression. You have to multiply the four by that whole expression. So you gotta make sure you put those expressions in brackets. And now here we have it, in that format that we wanted. We have one exponential expression on each side with the same base, so we can drop the base. And now at this point, we just have to solve this over here. So doing that, we would distribute the three, distribute the four, and then bring the four over, bring the nine over, so we'd have 15x minus four x equals eight plus nine, which is 17, 11x equals 17, so x would equal 17 over 11. So that would be the answer to number one. So took this, put in this format, dropped the bases, then just solved the equation. Moving on to number two, it's going to be a little bit more complex, but the same thing is going to apply. We want to get it in terms of one base on each side. So notice that we have 2, 4, 4, 16, 32. Notice that all of those we can rewrite in terms of a base 2. So the 2, it's already in terms of that base, but the 4 we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 2. And then we got the 3x minus 4. The 16, we can rewrite as two to the power of four, and then we have the x plus one. The four here, we can rewrite as two to the power of two, and we got the two x plus one. And then the 32, we can rewrite as two to the power of five, like that. And so we're already looking a lot better, but what we gotta do is get it in terms of one expression now. So notice that here we are multiplying two exponential expressions with the same base. And so we can add the exponents. Remember if we have like a to the power of x times a to the power of y, we can rewrite this as a to the power of x plus y. Right? So same thing over here. So we can add these. So the next step would be two to the power of 4x plus 2 bracket 3x minus 4. So remember, this has to be in brackets here when you're multiplying by the 2. And then we're dividing by an expression 
an exponential expression with the same base. And so we can subtract this exponent. Remember, if you got a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y, that's like a to the power of x minus y. And this x doesn't just have to be single variables. It could be full-on expressions like this. So we add these two, and then we could subtract this exponent. So we could say minus 4 bracket x plus 1, like that. And you can do this in steps. You could have maybe rewrote this as this and then divided it still by this and then the next line would be this. I'm sort of just doing it all in one step. But that's basically what you do. If you're multiplying, you're adding, and then if you're dividing by anything, you're just subtracting those exponents like we did there. And then same thing here, this um, right side, we're not multiplying anything here, so we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 bracket 2x plus 1. But then we're dividing by 2 to the power of 5, so we can subtract a 5 over here. Right, so this is the exact same thing as this, or this. All of these are the same equations. But now that we have it in that format, we can drop the base twos because the exponents have to be the same. So we'd end up with 4x plus 2 bracket 3x minus 4 minus 4 bracket x plus 1 equals 2 bracket 2x plus 1 minus 5. And then we just have to solve for x at this point. So we'd have 4x plus 6x minus 8 minus 4x minus 4 equals 4x plus 2 minus 5, like that. Looks all good to me. So let's uh, simplify here. Notice we'll have 10x minus 4x, so that would give us 6x, so these go away. Negative 8 minus 4 would give us minus 12, and then we'd have 4x, 2 minus 5 would give us minus 3. We could bring the 4x over, bring the 12 over, so we'd have 6x minus 4x equals negative 3 plus 12, which would give us 2x equals 9, which means x would equal 9 over 2. So that would be the final answer to this, right? So same pattern, try to take everything, get it in terms of the same base on each side, one exponential expression on each side, then you could drop the bases and just solve the equation.